dodge bullets. You know, there's no, 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 uh, I guess, serious or major injury that, you know, they'll definitely, I think, should be back in the next week. Both kids. It was it Marlon was a basketball? No, it's a hoop drill. We run the hoops. Yeah, yeah, it's a fundamental drill, but it's a non-contact. It's a non-contact injury. You know, he just fell. That's what I thought slipped. I heard. That's, I was like, I was making sure. I was like, you know, he had to run the hoop. Hey, Philip, I thought you have been doing this for 50 years. Be 48 in October. Well, they, they've been running hoops for well, probably about 75. Well, I, just, I didn't know what he was playing college. basketball too on occasion. I'm just, yeah, no, well, he, play, he should be playing basketball yeah. in high school. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was it was a good really running hoop drill. Yeah. It was just, it's a fundamental drill. You just teach them how to hug the corner and run tight. Yeah. Right, so. We're, we're in now, so we just we get from the from the, from the, from the, from the other freshmen. You talked about Matt Martavius, but Alec Jackson, Tyron. Just they're just working. Guys. They're working. They're working. You know, uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, you know, I think you know when you look at all three of the freshmen, I think a lot of it can be really attributed to to the, the, the programs that they came from. You know, you know, you know here's Big Cat from Chris County. Which is a really, really, you know, really good football uh, program where you know he's been pushed, really pushed, you know, at a high level. You know, just knowing his coach, his coach played at Troy, coach played for Tracy, Mike, you know, so he was coached differently, you know, and he coached those guys differently. So I think you know, Big Cat came in more ready-made for my my coaching style. Because he got that all throughout high school uh, with, with Coach Felton. I mean, that's just that's who he is, you know. So, uh, so from that standpoint, I think you know he, you know, he's definitely adjusted a lot, lot quicker. Uh, Alec, you know, uh, I mean, he's just got to get stronger, you know. I mean, you know, it's hard, you know, being a three technique, you know. And, you know, you 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 were a defensive end in high school, so you know, it's just a it's a different world. You know, but he's a kid that's got energy, very positive attitude. Uh, he's working hard. You know, he's just you know, he just got to learn. You know, the intricacies of playing. You know, defensive tackle. You know, in the SEC. But I think you know he's going to be fine. Great attitude. Truesdale, you know, from Laney High School. You know, hadn't been pushed at all. I'm talking about. You know, really, really. You know, you talk to his coach. You know, he didn't do much of nothing. You know, he was so so much better than everybody there. That he ain't had to run in no drills, he ain't had to do nothing, he had to do that, just just show up and play. So it's like been a really more of a culture shock for him, just the expectations of the intensity level of practice. I think you know when after you know after you sign the kids and you try to prep them for what it's going to take. I don't think they really believe that, you know. But you, you're trying to tell them, hey man, the, the biggest adjustment for you is going to be the intensity of practice. I mean, it, it really is that the, the, the way we go about practice, I mean, it's, it's, it's shocking. Uh, so you know, I just think that some of them don't really, really get that until they get there, and they like it like that. Okay, so you know, so but I think you know he's a talented, strong man. He is so strong. I mean, he is so doggone strong. I mean, so you know, just once he can. You know, figure out you know the um, the intensity level that it, that it takes to work at this and that. I think he, he's going to be fine because he is so strong. I mean, he is unreal strong. You know, when you talk to Russell, then that kid came in here a powerful man. You know, so you know you just you know the arrow, I know the arrow points up for all three of them. Paul James, wanted to see. Paul's just got he's got he's got to get better you know playing first second down you know that's the thing that you know we just you know you know you got to play run first to get the third down the rest of the quarterback you got to play run first and you know just so just getting him to understand that and embracing that and not playing every down like his pass you know just reading the set of that tackle knowing that hey I can't run up field because I'm I'm, 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 I'm creating running lanes, you know, and just the, the stress that it puts on our defense. 
Uh, but you know, I, but he's worked hard, been, has great attitude. Uh, you know, I think they're they're all getting better. But we've got to play first, second down. There's not a lot of glory in that from the opposition, is it? What's that? Play first, second down? From, from, no, I'm from from the standpoint of when guys want to rack up sacks, they want to pin their ears back. And just well, you, they ain't throwing the ball if they run it down your throat. <laughs> you ever thought about that? Yeah, if they get eight, set, eight, ten yards a clip, you think they're gonna drop back and throw it? <laughs> Probably not. You know, that's, what, that's what we try to make sure they understand. Now you gotta be really good on first, second down to put create that situation. So just getting them to uh, you know to embrace that, and it's really just about cleaning your eyes up. You know, pre-snap. You know, look at the the, the tackle stance. Look at the backfield formation. You know, look at their pad level. Look at their feet. You know, just then reading the set. You know, it, it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a heavy set hat, hat at you, or is he deep set? I mean, he ain't setting on the line and they run and they pass the ball. All right, he ain't doing that. So you shouldn't be running upfield. So you got to be able to address the address the blocks and be able to play run. Now, yeah, it could be play action pass, but you got to play run first. And then you got to convert to to your pass rush. So from that standpoint, just improving that, you know. Uh, but I, I like his attitude. I, I really like his attitude. I like I like all the kids' attitude. You know, Trey three, great attitude. You know, working hard. But you know, Trey, you know, he really has to embrace the fundamentals because he's undersized. You know, he doesn't have. I guess if you were making a prototype. You know, for that position, the lengthwise, you know, all that. You know, he he's more of a shorter, compact type guy. So, you know, his footwork, his hand placement, his pad level, you know, all those things are just and it's critical for all of them. But it's it's really more critical when you when you're already undersized. You know, when you're playing against these, you know, you got Tega and Braden Smith. You know, you're taking playing against six five guy that's 330 pounds. You know, that's long and want to break your neck. So, you know, you got to really have really good technique and fundamentals. But it's going to be good for them for game day for having going against these type of tackles that we got that they have to practice against. You know, having to practice against Braden, uh, Darius, and Tega, it's going to be really good for for the ends. I mean, it's going to be real good for the ends. I think really good. Is Mo yeah. playing for you? TD, playing for Trav. Yeah, he's playing for tryout, but you know we may try to you know, steal some reps from him. You know, like just like a, like a pad break. Yeah, yeah, like a DPR. You know, put in some, put in a, you know, a little package that you know we can uh, can make it. You know, his. You know that he can. He'll go out and excel a lot. He loves football. You know, he. You know, so you know, I think he's a really impressive. And he's physical, and he will hit you. I think he has some natural pass rush. Again. I really do.